comes kids. Hope you're all doing well. As you can see, I've uh, just been pumping some iron and uh, well, lesson six of our series is named Packed with Power. And as you can see, I'm pretty strong and powerful. But there's uh, other creatures on this planet that are even more, pow more powerful than even me. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Speaking of power, these ants can lift up to 5,000 times their own weight. Wow, those ants were pretty strong, right? But if you thought those ants were strong, wait till you see these next crazy guys. They are having an Olympic Games for rhinoceros beetles to see which is the strongest. Check this out. That was so fast! Hephaestus fans going wild now, as I'm sure the creator of worlds is, as their champion takes the spot from Poseidon at winning the Pyramid of Hera. Great job, Team Hephaestus! Next up is Dionysus! Team Dionysus, cheer on your gladiator! Go! Dionysus plows forward, dragging... Oh, oh, my oh, oh, oh. The tower! Oh, oh, Toppled! 5.44 seconds. Great job, Team Dionysus. This places Dionysus in second place under Hephaestus and ahead of Poseidon. But wait, I've found one more stronger than even the rhinoceros beetle. Take a look at this little clip. Hi, I'm Katie Wayne, and this is Animalist News. Football players have to be strong to fight off competition in the same way animals use their strength to protect what's theirs. But who's the strongest player in the animal kingdom? In terms of absolute weight, the African elephant is by far the strongest living animal. Although it can carry a whopping 600 pounds, that only equates to 25% of its body weight. Perspectively, elephants are kind of wimpy. So move over, Ellie the elephant, and make room for the true muscle man. Drum roll, please. The dung beetle! These 50 million year old creatures not only have the crappiest life ever, you see, we only do highbrow comedy on this channel, but are also the strongest animal proportionally. Weighing in at a mere two grams, the dung beetle can lift over 1100 times its own body mass. That's equivalent to a human carrying six full double-decker buses. So what do dung beetles do with their extreme strength? Mostly fight over poop and ladies. So guys, even though these creatures are tiny, you can see they are definitely packed with power. You know, God made each one of these little creatures just as he made us. And you know what? We are also packed with power. Now, I know what you're thinking. Packed with power, big muscles, look at me. I'm not talking necessarily about that sort of power. I'm talking about another sort of power. You know, if you're a Christian and you're a believer in Jesus, God gave you a special gift. He gave you the gift of the Holy Spirit. And now, the Holy Spirit is definitely packed with power. The Holy Spirit is a gift from God that is given to any one of us that believes in Jesus. Now remember the types of miracles that Jesus did? Raised people from the dead, fed the 5,000, made blind people see we've got that same power in fact jesus did t told us that we can do even greater things than he did by the way of the holy spirit that lives inside of us so what do we need to do we need to remember that our body is the temple of the holy spirit he lives inside of us so we kind of need to look after our bodies yeah so that means we need to sleep enough we need to eat well we need to avoid things that aren't good for our body drugs and smoking and those kind of things we need to be careful about the things we say remember god says the tongue is a is a fire and it can cause all sorts of problems so you need to look after your bodies you need to be careful what you put into them you need to be careful what comes out of your your mouth as well and remember that we have this amazing amazing gift from God now you know this gift it came at a price of course and the price of course was Jesus dying on the cross for us 
So it costs God to give us this gift of the Holy Spirit. But it's inside of us and we have amazing power to do amazing things. We just have to believe and trust God. And he will do amazing things with my life and he'll do amazing things with your life. And if you trust him and believe in him and know that he's got a plan for you, you don't need to sort of worry about too much stuff that's going on. You know, trust God, believe in him, say, thank you, God, I know you've got a plan for my life. I know that you've got my back. You will walk with me through all the situations that I have to deal with. Thank you that you're walking with me. Thank you that I have this amazing power to do all sorts of crazy, amazing things. Remember that little dung beetle? Wow, he was pretty cool, right? But God loves us even more than a dung beetle. So, hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for listening. Can't wait to uh, catch up in person. And remember, love you guys, and you are packed with power. See you next time.